Today we're going to be talking about all the value resorts at Universal Studios Florida. It took us two and a half years, but we finally have stayed at them all. We're going to be going over the pros and cons of each one, and in another video, I'm going to be talking about the premier resorts. The value resorts do not include express passes like the premier resorts do, but each resort does include early park admission. You get an hour to enjoy one of the two theme parks before the other guests come in. So the first resort, I'm going to go over all the highlights, pros and cons, is Aventura Hotel. Each hotel, I'm going to go over the rooms, the food, and the amenities. It's very simple inside, very modern, very clean. If you like a modern look, this may be for you. It has a few different features in the other hotel, and in this room, we got a skyline view, which was really pretty. We could actually see some of Epic Universe construction, which is Universal's brand new theme park coming in 2025. Another great reason to come and stay at Universal. Our personal opinion, we didn't care for the Aventura bed were endless summer. They were more stiff than the other ones. The other ones were more of a pillow top, very soft, but these beds were stiff. As far as the amenities for Aventura, it's standard. It's the same. They have the body wash, shampoo, they have a hair dryer, a little mini fridge, a safe, an iron, ironing board, and some extra blankets. And all the resorts have lots of USBs and plugins. This one had some different features with the technology, like I said. That was the only real difference from this one. I did actually like this this tablet it was neat you could change the channel on the TV you could order food you could request things to your room change the lights and the temperature that was probably the coolest feature Aventura was the quietest hotel more couples than families so if you want something a little bit more peaceful more modern this would be perfect and you are actually super close to Volcano Bay that's actually the entrance to the water park same with Cabana Bay super close and the cafe had several different stations sushi stir fry burgers chicken tenders mac and cheese. It actually was a really good cafeteria made fresh. One of the cons of the value resorts is you don't have a water taxi except for Sapphire Falls. All the other ones you either have to walk over to Sapphire Falls for the water taxi or you have to wait for a bus every 15 minutes. And you can actually walk which is about a 20 minute walk from Aventura and Cabana Bay. It is a pretty walk as long as it's not super hot. The three premier resorts that come with express passes they're going to be more expensive and they also include the water taxis. One unique thing about Aventura is they have a roof rooftop bar at the very top of the hotel, very pretty to look at, all the sights around the city. They do of course have drinks and appetizers, but you don't have to eat to go up there, you can just go walk around. It's kind of an oval shaped pathway, but you can actually see some of Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios at night, and then you can also see Volcano Bay. And finally, the pool was just okay, it doesn't have any slides, it's probably one of our least favorite pools, but if your kids or family are like mine, they're happy to swim in almost anything. And then about some more of the food, the pizza at the resorts are just okay. The best pizza on property you're going to find is actually at CityWalk at Red Oven Pizza. And then the breakfast though, that was delicious. That French toast was amazing. There aren't a ton of breakfast options at the park, so if you want to get something to eat before you head in, this is a great option. If you want to see our full Aventura tour, I will link that down below just like the other three hotels hotels we stayed at. Next up is Endless Summer. Endless Summer has Dockside and Surfside. We stayed at both and we had a two bedroom suite which was just around $200 I think is really fair. Compared to the other rooms they were huge and we paid just about the same amount for a smaller room at the other places. They have even cheaper rooms, the standard room starting at $79 if you can catch it on a sale. But this two bedroom suite was really awesome and very spacious. I especially I actually love that we actually had a microwave to heat up leftovers and a bigger refrigerator. And of course it comes with all the other standard amenities. Hair dryer, shampoo, soap, safe, iron, ironing board, and extra sheets and pillows. I really did like the dockside pool view room. You could see some of Volcano Bay and we actually saw fireworks at night. Dockside has two towers with two different pools and Surfside only has one pool. In the cafeteria, both experiences at Dockside and Surfside were really good. Everything was fresh. There's just more options at Dockside. Rick liked his deli sandwich, a turkey club. The chicken was okay. It was a little dry. We loved those breadsticks and the pizza was pretty good. It's delivery until midnight. 
All the resorts are gonna have some sort of store. You can get things that you might need that you forgot at home. They have a Starbucks, a fitness center, an arcade. If you wanna see a more detailed tour of both sides, I'll link that down below. The kids liked the pool. Unfortunately, there's no slide on this one, just a standard pool. But the kids had some fun throwing around the balls that they had in the pool, and there is a bar behind there. No hot tubs, unfortunately, and a beautiful view at night, at least from dockside. We also enjoyed the breakfast at the same cafeteria the menus do change lots of different options and everything was fresh and I would say reasonably priced especially compared to the theme parks now Surfside it's actually right across from Dockside it's a little bit more quiet a little bit more laid back a smaller pool our room was exactly the same just some color changes so I won't go into that but I did not want to give up that two-bedroom suite both of the endless summer Dockside and Surfside the lobbies are really nice both of them have a Starbucks and a gift shop but the cafeteria at Surfside is a lot smaller. I like though that once they take your order they do make everything fresh so everything tasted really good. I'm gonna say the biggest con is of course the beds like I had mentioned are kind of stiff and then this is also the furthest hotel from the park so you have to take a bus there's no way to walk there that would take a really long time. If you want the cheapest resort and you don't care how far you are from the park I would recommend this one because you still get early park and mission. We enjoyed it, but to be honest, I don't know if we would stay again. We are really spoiled with those premier resorts. Next up is Cabana Bay, which is my personal favorite value resort. If you select a volcano view room, you will get this beautiful view of Volcano Bay. The rooms are slightly different. We did have a pretty big bathroom and it was wheelchair accessible. They aren't all like that, but that's the one that we ended up getting. And then it's just one giant room, two beds, and a beautiful view depending on what you get. Same amenities as all the other ones. There's a little closet with some iron ironing boards, safe. They have a coffee maker and a mini fridge if you want to stick some drinks in there, keep them nice and cool. And I love their theming. It's very retro. The whole hotel is pretty much like this. The kids' favorite part, of course, is the pool. They have a main pool, but the best of all is the Lazy River. We were there two nights, so we ended up going to the Lazy River in the morning and in the evening. If you do get a chance to go to Volcano Bay, that's even more fun, but if you can't go out there, the Lazy River is a great alternative. And sometimes you just need a day to hang out at the resort, cool down, and just relax, and this is the perfect resort for that. I would say out of all the value resorts, this seemed to have the most amenities and things to do for families. And if you go during an off time, we got our room for around $120. It does go up in the busier times though. And just like the other resorts, they do have the pizza delivery to the room. They do charge, I believe, 20% tip, but you can get it delivered and not have to worry about picking it up at the cafeteria until midnight. Pizza was just okay. I still think the City Walk one is better. And if you can get a volcano view room, you can check it out at night. It is gorgeous, lit up with different colors, purples and blues. We've been to Volcano Bay twice. The first time we rented a cabana. I will link both of those down below for the full tour, what all there is to do, how many water slides, and the food. If you stay in one of the towers, though, like we did, it is a little bit of a trek to the main lobby, but not too bad. I will say in our experience, the food was just okay. I've heard other people really enjoyed it. So if we get another chance to go back, we will try it again. Like the other two value resorts, they do have a cafeteria, lots of grab and go stuff, or they have a deli, a pizza station, a burger station, and chicken. But breakfast does change. So they have pancakes and waffles, omelets, croissants. We thought the breakfast was just okay we had better at Aventura and Endless Summer. Still not a deal breaker. It's still a great resort. You got a Starbucks and a bowling alley. We did not do the bowling. It was a little pricey. I would still like to do it another time though. It just seems like a lot of fun and they have the biggest arcade out of all the resorts we have seen at Universal. You could easily spend the day here and just hang out at the resort. The buses seem to be the quickest to arrive at Cabana Bay than the other resorts. It seemed like if there was one coming there was one leaving. And finally, I love that they had their own shakes and malt shop. Some of the other resorts didn't have a dedicated dessert spot, and I like that they had this option. We really enjoyed that banana split, and they have some fun shakes and malt options. The premier resorts, though, win hands down on the best desserts on property. I can't wait to do that video coming up soon. This is just a quick overview. We have a full tour in more detail of everything there is here. For the price, we really enjoyed this resort, and we can't wait to come back 
again. And the last value resort is Sapphire Falls. This is going to be the closest resort to the parks. I love that it's a 10 minute walk to Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios or you can take the water taxi. And besides Cabana Bay being our favorite because of the Lazy River, this is our second favorite because the kids loved the water slide. They also had a nice bonfire, a bar, and a hot tub. The rooms are nice and simple, just a standard room like the others. All the same amenities, of course you have the coffee maker, lots of different drawer space if you're staying for a while, and a mini fridge to put your waters in there. The bathroom and the vanity area were separate so you could stand out there outside the bathroom or go inside and have a nice walk-in shower. It's fairly priced for this resort, especially if you go during the non-peak times and you get access to early park admission too. They have lagoon view rooms, which you can see the water taxi going by and a little bit of islands of adventure and they have the pool view room. Honestly, I think both options are really good and this is a nice resort to stay and take a break from the parks. You can easily spend the day here. For the standard size room, I think this is a pretty decent size. Unlike the other resorts, they actually have sit down restaurants instead of just cafeterias. So I did like that option too. It's kind of like a premier resort with the nicer food options. We tried lots of different tapas. They have some very unique things like this octopus salad. And they had another restaurant. If we get a chance to come back to this resort, I would love to try. We ate at Strong Water and Tavern. So if you try anything, you need to try that Trace Leches cake. It was huge. This does not show how big it is. And like the other resorts, they have the fitness center and they have a small arcade. So Cabana Bay's is going to be the biggest. They did have a grab and go area, some gelato and a few hot food items. I would say the best gelato we had on property though was at Portofino Bay which is a premier resort and just like the premier resorts I love that Sapphire Falls does have the water taxi so it is super convenient when we went I think we were actually the only people on the water taxi City Walk does close sometimes at midnight or 1 a.m. so you can head over there check out the shops and a few things to do if the parks are closed. You could also take the water taxi to the other resorts even if you aren't staying there to check out the restaurants. You can also pool hop to the other resorts too unless you're staying at Endless Summer, but the other resorts, you can go to any of the pools, just go to the front desk. And we do have a guide of City Walk. We've tried some of the restaurants, but I have to say the resorts have better food. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe if you wanna see more on Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, as well as our premier hotel coming soon. And I will link each hotel video down in the description. And a big thank you to Maddie and Lachey for helping support our channel. People like you help us to keep going and doing what we love. Stay safe and subscribe. 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 Click these videos if you want to see the benefits of early park admission that comes with your stay at all the hotels at Universal Studios. The top one being Islands of Adventure and the bottom one being Universal Studios for early park admission on both sides. And thank you so much for watching.